Well, NAIDOC Week starts today and to coincide, we're about to meet an elder who's aiming to unite young Australians. Artist and writer, Auntie Rhonda Collard Spratt is a stolen generation, generation's survivor who was heartbroken to discover her grandchildren were being bullied. So she created a children's book, Bobtail's Friend, teaching the effects of bullying in a way that kids can understand. And I have to say, Auntie Rhonda, it is glorious. Also known as Auntie Curlew, and she joins us now from Brisbane. It's so lovely to talk to you, Auntie. This book is beautiful, and it features the most just gorgeous pictures right throughout it. It's, it's a book that really promotes a message of tolerance and reconciliation. They're big concepts, but you, the way that you have done it makes it so attractive to kids, and it's through friendship. Both. I hope you're both well. And this has been a, a wonderful journey with my dear friend Jackie Farrow. We both work in the true spirit of reconciliation. She's non-Indigenous. And this book has been a very emotional journey of sort of telling people what it's like to be bullied because bullying, words can hurt your heart and your spirit. Like a wound to your body can heal. Mm. and that the scar goes away but a wound to your heart or your spirit may never heal so you know words can hurt you badly or they can heal you so we must be careful and this is such an important story for everyone in Australia our children because these effects can last a lifetime so that's why we bought the story so children can understand it in this way through the bobtail because the bobtail has a blue tongue and all the other bush animals got pink tongues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Auntie, your storytelling is it's just so powerful and what you've done for reconciliation uh, is, is extraordinary and this book is extraordinary too. As a stolen generations survivor, how did you feel to learn your own grandchildren were on the receiving end of of racial slurs to the extent you feel comfortable talking about it so many decades later? Oh, it's, it's soul-destroying. It's, it's devastating because they did not want to go to school. They were crying and, you know, this is not right because, you know, we're all human and um, hatred isn't born. It's a learnt, it's a learnt feelings that you carry and your attitudes from your environment. So as, an adult, as adults, we need to be careful of how we act and the words we speak because you are the role models for our next generation. So you must realize you're being watched from the new generations growing up now. So, and I'd like to say adding the language was so important to me because it is the true voice of this land. And I'd like to thank my nephew, Godfrey Simpson, who helped me so much with the Wadjuri language mm. because we weren't allowed to speak it in the missions so I'm ever grateful for him and for other people who have shared knowledge through language and gifted it to me so we need to hold on to these stories and our children please know that this is for everyone your mums and dads your nanas and pops and um, the story is universal to every culture because it carries the such beautiful message we are all human beings, we all hurt. So just think about your words and your actions before you speak. So, yeah. yes, so thank you both for giving me this chance. Now, we're, we're the grateful ones mm. for you, Auntie Rhonda. And, and just reading the thank book, you, Mon. this is not going to just be influential for kids who have been bullied, but also for anyone out there who has also bullied. And as you say, that is created. Um, so just extremely powerful, absolutely beautiful, a feast for the eyes and for the soul. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Portion will go to help with reading lessons to over 400 remote Aboriginal communities too. It's just a, a wonderful initiative.